Caffeine is the most widely consumed psychoactive drug and, as you likely know, it's found in many food products. In this video, we'll be extracting caffeine from green tea, but almost any other type of tea could be used. For this extraction, I used 45 milliliters of dichloromethane, water, 6 tea bags, and 6 grams of sodium carbonate. 6 tea bags were added to a beaker. Then, 90 milliliters of water was added. This was followed by 6 grams of sodium carbonate. Once the sodium carbonate is mixed thoroughly, the solution is brought to a boil. By boiling the tea, we are separating out the water-soluble components, which is mostly caffeine and tannins. The tannins are acidic and react with the sodium carbonate in solution to form salts. We are going to separate the caffeine from the water layer using an organic solvent, and salting the tannins should keep them in the aqueous layer. Boil the solution for about 10 minutes. It is recommended to place something on top of the beaker to limit water loss. If the heat is high, it might bubble a lot, and to prevent it from overflowing, remove the lid and let the bubbles settle. After 10 minutes, the concentrated tea extract was transferred to an Erlenmeyer flask. The tea bags were pressed in order to release as much water as possible, which was then also decanted into the Erlenmeyer flask. Now, 60 milliliters of water was added, and the process was repeated. The tea extract was combined with the previous tea extract, and again the tea bags were squished to release as much water as possible. The solution was then allowed to stand and cool down to room temperature. This step is optional and probably not required, but I decided to filter the tea extract prior to the separation process. If you choose not to do this, you can transfer it directly to a separatory funnel. I washed the filter with 15 milliliters of DCM, but if you didn't filter it, you can add the DCM directly to the separatory funnel. So after adding the DCM, you should have two layers. The separatory funnel was capped and shaken very gently in order to prevent the formation of an emulsion. Afterwards, the layers were allowed to settle and the bottom DCM layer was drained. This extraction process was carried out a total of three times using 15 milliliters of DCM each time. The organic layer was dried using calcium chloride and then filtered into a round bottom flask. The filter was washed with a small amount of DCM. I set up a distillation to remove and recover the dichloromethane. At the bottom of the round bottom flask, we are left with some dry, crude caffeine. This was removed and transferred to a test tube. A small amount of DCM was used to wash the round bottom flask, which was transferred to the test tube. Using a hot plate, the small amount of DCM was evaporated off. The crude caffeine was then recrystallized using 95% ethanol. The crystals were vacuum filtered and the test tube was washed using ice cold 95% ethanol. The crystals were dried under vacuum and we were left with nice, white, nearly pure caffeine crystals. Unfortunately, the yield was quite low and it was only around 30 milligrams. An NMR of the product shows that the caffeine is quite pure.